Now, using a scientific calculator, we'll have to watch for the exponent key. It'll vary on different calculators. You'll either have the EE or the EXP, or in some cases, just an E key for your exponent. So to enter the prefix, for example, with an EE key, to enter 9.87 times 10 to the minus 6, you would enter the digits 9.87, just like you would normally enter them. Then press the EE key for the exponent. In our case, we'd have to press the plus or minus key to get that negative in there. And then press the 6 key. That would enter the value 9.87 times 10 to the minus 6 into your calculator to be used in an operation. Now you have to be very careful to note that the negative exponents use a negative sign, not the subtraction sign on your calculator. The calculator answer that you get will also be shown in scientific notation. So it will look like 1.171 with a little negative 94, or 3.72 with an E and a negative 16. Notice that, that little negative symbol there tells you that that's an exponent of 10 to the negative 94, or 10 to the negative 16. If there's just a space there, that would be 10 to the positive 16, or 10 to the positive 94. You'll have to look very carefully and be aware that that number will be in scientific notation. To do math with your scientific calculator and scientific notation, enter the values with the exponent key and then do the operations as usual. The results may also be displayed in scientific notation. 